My name is Edward Kwabi. Now, the Speaker of Parliament, Edward Do Ajaho, has ordered the local government and rural development minister, designate John Otibles, to apologize to the Chief Justice for making the regulatory remarks about her. In a comment on the matter in the House Friday, he said he, he did not want the House and the head of another arm of government to have any problems. The Deputy Local Government and Rural Development Minister designate John Oti Bless is yet to be approved by the House. The fate of the Nkwanta North MP hangs in the balance after he, together with the Muntie three convicts, were accused of making contemptuous comments against the Chief Justice and the judiciary. The minority in Parliament wants the Deputy Minister designate to pay for his contemptuous comments. The Speaker has been petitioned for the nominee to be rejected by the House, having already been vetted by the Appointments Committee of Parliament. But the Speaker said it is important for the Member of Parliament involved to offer an apology, otherwise it will serve as a dangerous precedent. As a result of those consultations, it is important that the Member that may of this House that made those statements must apologise. On that basis, I have spoken to the gentleman. I have discussion with some leaders in leadership both sides, and I convey the position to the leaders and the member involved. The deputy majority leader, on behalf of the Enquanta North MP, said he had written an official apology. The member, the member or the nominee, is now in the house and. Ready to He's ready, Mr. Speaker, to apologize to the Chief Justice, to the House, and to the whole country for all that they have said. But the Speaker said he has not received any communication. I would have wished the proper thing to do is to show the content. The apology letter was then handed over to the Speaker amidst heckling from the minority. The majority and minority leaders gave their closing remarks as it was the last sitting of the second meeting. The speaker, in his closing remarks, urged members to keep the country peaceful since many will be embarking on the campaign trails. The House was adjourned for its third meeting. So there was a lot of drama at the House today. That is the Parliament of Ghana today. But uh, news just in on information reaching TV3 is that the Deputy Local Government Minister Wood for making the regulatory remarks about her. This follows a directive by the Speaker of Parliament today, uh, Edward Doha Jaho, to suspend the appointment of the Deputy minister until he renders uh, apology to the chief justice and david agbe is uh, executive director of ghana institute of governance and security he joins us on phone now to delve into this uh, very issue good evening sir and thanks for your time but uh, just before uh, we go into the nitty-gritty of the issue, uh, do you think this very apology from the de de Deputy Minister designate will change anything? Uh, Edward, thank you very much. I think it, if it is genuine that Honorable Oti Bres uh, is trying to apologize to Parliament and more to the point, the Chief Justice, it is uh, good. I mean, as much as we are human beings, uh, we are fallible. And so therefore, whilst we all appreciate the fact that we cannot live anywhere apart from living in a society, uh, once upon a time, somebody will make a mistake. And if the person genuinely um, has realized or his conscience has knocked up to him that he has to apologize. Uh, we should be able to accept it. And if it is quite, um, I mean, good and acceptable, uh, let's welcome it as it is. 
Now, his appointment has been suspended. Uh, and you know that Parliament is on recess. They went on recess today. They are, they are coming back somewhere October. Does it not uh, delve a big blow to his appointment? Of course, uh, Edward, it, it does. And it is a lesson to every Ghanaian that when you get an opportunity uh, to speak on radio or on TV or in any other platform, uh, you should be measured in your level of communication. And we should appreciate that politics is a universal activity. Everybody on this earth is a political animal, no matter how you looked at it. We are all, you know, involved in politics, but how we approach politics, how we do our politics, is something that we need to really uh, ask ourselves whether we will be able to do it in such a way that we will not castigate and insult other people. Uh, it's something that we need to really examine ourselves. And so now that Honorable Otibles has insulted the Chief Justice of the Republic of Ghana, and majority of Ghanaians has realized that what he did was not good. And therefore, he has realized that, yes, of course, it, it is not good. And he has apologized. Let's accept it. But then it is a great lesson to all of us that we need to be measured. We all need to be cautious. All the parliamentarians, quite recently, you realize that some of the parliamentarians are using some harsh words on radio, on TV, which is not good. And so I was expecting that on this occasion that Parliament is going on recess, the Speaker of Parliament should have more like advised many of the parliamentarians that their behavior, their conduct of late is not quite good for our society. And most of them need to change their tone, the way they communicate. It's not something that we as a political, you know, watchers, we, we are quite, you know, happy about it. So, on this occasion, let's say that whilst Honorable Oti Bless has unreservedly apologized, let's accept it, but then we should be able to uh, tell every Ghanaian that, yes of all, we all have the freedom to express our views, but we need to be measured, we need to be more calculated what we are going to you know, talk about so that we do not uh, jump onto the gun by insulting people unnecessarily. So, w will you say that the Speaker should have, for instance, today mentioned that um, the Honorable Minister, um, uh, Honorable MP for uh, Achim uh, uh, Kenny Japon, should have also apologized to the EC Chair? He should have been more, you know, brother. We were expecting that on this occasion, that as I said earlier on, they were going on recess. He should have been more like trying to you know, conscientize all the parliamentarians that they need to reorient themselves by making sure that uh, they are well respected as an honorable, you know, men. Uh, quite recently, if you listen to some of them, you, you, you tend to question whether some of them, I mean, indeed, qualify to be, uh, I mean, parliamentarians that we all, you know, uh, admire them to be. And so it is not Oti Blaise alone. It is not well. Kennedy Japan alone, but there are other people in Parliament, even senior members, their tone, their language. I mean, it's, it's quite, you know, not good at all. And so at this point in time, we were expecting that the Speaker of Parliament would have been more uh, broader than focusing his attention right. on OT Bless. Although okay. we appreciate the fact that what OT Bless did was quite, uh, uh, I mean, it, it was a, uh, of a bad taste, and no Ghanaian should be able to do that. Looking at his background, as somebody studying, you know, political science, governance, and all those stuff, I thought that he should have been more measured, and he should have realized that his level of communication, supposed to sit well, to be able to more like shaping the political discourse rather than using the opportunity to castigate the, uh, I mean, Supreme Court uh, judges or the uh, I mean, Chief of Justice of this country. Chief Justice. All right. Thank you very much. David Agbe is the Executive Director of the Ghana Institute of Governance and uh, Integrity. Uh, he's been speaking to us about uh, the issue regarding Honorable Otibles. Later on, uh, 
later tonight, apologizing to the Chief Justice. You're still watching News at 10.